mammals. The diversity of mammals is amazing. They can be as huge as these whales or as tiny as this cute little balancing mouse. They can be noisy like this howler monkey or quiet like this hedgehog with its sharp pointy spines. Even though they're amazingly diverse, all mammals have a number of common characteristics you should know about so you can recognize and differentiate them. All mammals are viviparous. They are born from their mother's womb. In their early stages of life, they feed on milk, which they get from their mother's breasts, where the mammary glands are. And that's why they're called mammals. And when they're little, they're so cute, aren't they? Mammals reproduce by internal fertilization when a sperm cell and an egg join inside a female. As you can see, they have teeth inside their mouths and lips around them so they can eat and suck milk. Most mammals' bodies are covered with hair and all mammals breathe with their lungs even if they live in the sea. Look at these dolphins coming up to the surface for air. The body temperature of mammals doesn't depend on whether it's cold or hot outside because they can maintain their own internal temperature. Almost all mammals are terrestrial, like camels and jaguars. Some live in the sea and are called marine mammals, like these dolphins and these seals. There's even a flying mammal. Bats are the only mammal that flies. Mammals have four limbs, which vary depending on where they live. Land mammals have legs, so they can walk and run when they need to, and jump, and sometimes even climb. Marine mammals have fins so they can swim very fast. And flying mammals have wings so they can fly through the sky. Do you know which is the most wonderful mammal that lives on Earth? Human beings! People are mammals too. How mammals feed. Depending on what they eat, mammals can be classified into different groups. Herbivores only eat plants and their teeth are especially designed for grinding. Horses, sheep and llamas are herbivorous animals. Some very special herbivores are called ruminants. They swallow their food almost without chewing it, and some of it is digested normally, but some of it is stored in their stomach. And when they want to, they regurgitate it into their mouth to digest it again. Cows, giraffes, and goats are ruminants. Carne means skin or meat in Latin, and that's what carnivores eat, the flesh of other animals. Their teeth are large and sharp for hunting and tearing at their food. Carnivores that eat insects and other invertebrates are called insectivores, like these anteaters. Omnivorous mammals feed on both meat and plants. Bears, monkeys and humans are omnivores. We can eat a tasty burger with lettuce and tomato. So, let's remember. Mammals are viviparous, and in the early stages of life, they feed on milk from their mother's breasts. They have lips and breathe with their lungs. Their body temperature does not depend on the environment they're in, 
and depending on their food sources, they may be herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. Easy, right? So, goodbye for now, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hi friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today we are going to meet a very special mammal who is very greedy. The bear! As you can see in the images, the majority of bears have a very big and chubby body, with short legs and a long snout. Like most mammals, its body is covered in hair. A bear's fur can vary a lot in colour. It can go from snow white like a polar bear, to brown like this grizzly bear, or to white and black like these friendly panda bears. Although bears are very heavy and big animals, they are very capable of climbing trees with a lot of agility. However, this is not always the case. They are also very competent swimmers. Bears are omnivorous animals. They eat meat and vegetables, like us humans. However, they are much greedier. The panda bear, for example, spends 12 hours a day eating bamboo. And we all know how much the majority of bears love honey. They use their very developed sense of smell. It's even better than a dog's. There is a very special characteristic that bears have that converts them into a very interesting animal. When the cold arrives in the freezing winter, the majority of bears hibernate. They spend every day sleeping, they don't wake up, they don't eat, they don't drink, and they don't even poop. They live off the fat they accumulated during spring, summer and autumn. That is why they are so greedy, because they have to eat enough during these seasons so that they can sleep all winter. Like all mammals, birds are viviparous, that is to say, they are born from their mother's womb. And the baby bears are also born without hair, teeth and are blind. Bears are hunted for their fur, as coats and carpets can be made from them. And this is why they are in danger of extinction. If we don't take care of them, they can completely disappear from the face of the earth or they would only be able to remain in zoos. An ability the bears have that always catches everyone's attention is that they can stand on their back legs. This can be a very terrifying show, as they can appear huge when they do so. The most common bear is the grizzly bear. They can measure up to approximately 3 meters and weigh about 1,477 pounds. It's a lot, isn't it? Well, now you know a bit more about bears, and even though they are not very lovable, they are super interesting. Bye, friends! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.